So what are rational numbers? Now we have already looked at natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers that start from 1 because that's how we start naturally counting. We start naturally counting from 1. So the numbers that start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, they are natural numbers. They extend up to infinity. Then the next type of numbers that we learned are whole numbers and you get a whole number just by adding a zero to the natural numbers. So, so the whole numbers start from zero, one, two, three, and so on up to infinity. Then we also learned about integers. So what integers do is that we understand that there are some, some numbers known as negative numbers, right? So integers introduce the concept of negative numbers. So numbers on the left hand side of the zero on a number line these are all negative numbers and the numbers on the right hand side of the zero they are all the positive numbers now these two numbers together the positive numbers and the negatives along with the zero they are known as integers now if we look at the natural numbers the whole numbers and the integers you can see that the distance between two consecutive numbers is one unit it could be a unit distance, for example, one centimeter, whatever, but it is essentially the difference between two consecutive numbers is one. Always. Now, when we come into the idea of rational numbers, is it possible to have numbers between the unity? So, so for example, between two numbers, that is zero and one, or one and two, or 2 and 3 are there any numbers between them and we actually do have those numbers and those numbers are what we call as rational numbers now you can see here that what we have done we have this number line where um, we initially we had 0 1 and 2 now what we have done over here is that the the distance between 0 and 1 is divided into half and we have used a number half to represent this point on the number line. Similarly, the midway distance between 1 and 2 is represented by this number over here, 3 by 2. And the same thing we can apply on the left hand side of the 0 in this direction. And you can see that we have minus of half and minus of 3 by 2. So you can see that the numbers that lie between the whole the full numbers like 0 and 1 right these are the natural uh, rational numbers so how do we represent rational numbers so it turns out that there is a general representation of rational numbers so all we do is the rational numbers are represented in the form of p by q so any number which is in the form of p by q where q is not equal to 0. Now you are already aware of these type of numbers. Fractions for example are rational numbers. So the number on the top is known as a numerator. So in this case p is a numerator and the number below is known as the denominator. So q is a denominator and the key condition for rational numbers is that the q must not be equal to zero the denominator should not be equal to zero and as i mentioned earlier fractions for example are rational numbers so all these numbers one one by two three by two five by two proper and improper fractions when represented in the form of p by q where your denominator is not equal to zero, that is q not equal to zero, they are rational numbers. An important thing to remember, how do we represent the rational numbers?